going on guys? This is Jaro Spinal again. Today I got a nice little package delivered in the mail. Pretty massive one. Yeah, it's, you guys you can see it's that one. Low Pro. The Low Pro 350. Well, let me say that again. The Low Pro Pro Runner 350 AW. AW, the signature line for all weather. It's a pretty massive flipping bag to be quite honest. It's just, but here it is, and it's all its glory. I already did the little test of fitting all my gear into it. As you can see, is it's a, almost as big as my chest. And I'm a pretty big guy. It's got a snifty little tripod, little holder thing there. So you can put your little tripod in there. It's got some clips. I got this one particularly because it was airline friendly. The dimensions were the ones that fit with, with Qantas because Qantas had a very specific, you know, regimen on what they allowed as a carry-on. Another story. Needless to say, I found that this bag is pretty fucking awesome. I mean, the compartments are massive. I filled this up for a quick example. Let's go ahead and show you what I have in front. All right, just as a little test. I put in the front here a little LED light for the DSLR, hard drive. I, I don't know if they're gonna actually let me get on their airplane with that. And you got plenty of room. You got room for other crap in there. I got, I think I have a filter, pull, polarizing filter in here. It's got room for what it says here. It's cell phone, whatever you can think of, pens, whatever, all that shit goes in there. It's not a bad bag, it's pretty heavily constructed. I got this one for on a, on a really awesome deal. Thanks guys at Lopro. You guys hooked it up. And in here, you got your compartments for all the other crap. You know, it's really got this nice feel to it. Like it's, even if water managed to get in here, this shit wouldn't get, you know, get, you know, get damaged. Don't worry about SD cards because they're actually waterproof if you, had, if you had to know. You can actually just submerge it in a thing of water and take it out, dry it off, and boom, still works. I've had that experience plenty of times. So I just got my little knickknacks in here, batteries, filters, like, looks like I have straps and shit in here, young new triggers, got, and then I, we get into this part where you can see I have one, two, some flash brackets, another flash at the bottom, bottom of there. I'm pretty, I like to be pretty neat with my shit, just cause it makes it my life a hell of a lot easier to get through things. Flash one, flash two, it's enough room there for a 24 to 70. Don't have one anymore. Unfortunately, mine broke. Got Olympus film camera, charger for my Nikon, uh, Fuji X10. What else? Little, I managed to just, you know, you can customize this as any way you want. I just was being pretty quick with mine. Little Nikon bags, my D600, my 50 mil lens, my 24 to 85 ED lens, little cleaning crap and yeah that's pretty much it that's that that compartment let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop compartment I have in my possession the new retina display 13 inch MacBook Pro it's pretty fucking thin come not compared to my old MacBook the original MacBook that has you know, the super optical drive on the side is a pretty noticeable, noticeable difference. And this has a case on it too. So we're gonna do a little comparison. Put this one in here in the side pocket. I highly recommend putting the screen, yeah, the screen this way. You know, this screen facing inward of the bag because if you put your, your screen facing that way, if you know, for example, when you're standing online to get checked in and whatnot for a long period of times, or you're commuting around, you tend to build pressure points on your on your Mac screen, and that's not good. That's why you usually have one spot on your Mac pretty bright. It's because of a pressure point. So I usually tell people when to 
when I used to work at Apple that, um, yeah, if you want to not get pressure points or that one bright spot on your Mac, try to place your computer in a way where, you know, your back or your elbow, whatever it is, messenger bag, whatever, isn't so on top of the MacBook. As you can see, it fits nicely in there. Just a quick slip, that, and you're good to go. But that, that's a bit heavy. And here we go, my newer MacBook Pro, the Retina Display one, that just whoop, right in there with even more space so I can put important documents like all my tax forms, all that stuff that I got here while I was in Australia, put it in here, you know. I'm not a dude that usually would walk around with my passport in my back pocket, but you know, this will definitely be going in here too with like all the other stuff that I take quickly take in and out. Obviously when you're on an airplane or checking in, you wanna have this out right away. But needless to say, yeah, I can't stress enough how amazing this bag really is. You know, I literally just picked it up today from the from the post office, and when I saw this nice big old bag, I was like, I already know what it is. So, oh yeah, I totally forgot. It's got a rain jacket. Rain, uh, it's got a rain jacket on there. Same. It's like a nice shower cap, actually. When I used to have af when I used to have an afro. Fuck, I miss my afro, man. And that, my friends, just goes on like... Like so. All weather, and they call it all AW for a reason. They prepared you for everything. Thank you guys at Opro, I really appreciate it. Peace.